Hey, what's up guys? Yasmin here at eFlex Fuel. Today we're going to be doing the E85 conversion using our eFlex Moto Plus kit from the 2012 Yamaha R6R. Alright, this is what's included in your kit. Main control module, ethanol sensor, main engine wire harness, metal connectors, extension harness, fuel line, fuel line hose clamps, fuel line tool, and fuel line quick disconnectors. Last but not least, your eFlex fuel installation guide. All right, the first step is to remove the seat to gain access to the battery. Now that I have access, I'm going to go ahead and remove the hardware to the fuel tank because I'm going to need to move that up. Now that we have removed the hardware from the field, let's go ahead and pop that off out of the way to access our fuel line and our fuel injectors. All right, now we have gained access to our fuel lines here and also our fuel injectors. There's another set down there as well. So I'm gonna start by removing these bolts here to access the fuel injectors. Next, I'm going to want to take my control unit and my main engine harness, find a placement position, and plan my wiring route, avoiding high voltage coil frequencies or such things that may interfere your signal. Once we have our wire harness in place, we want to go ahead and do a polarity test using a multimeter set on continuity. We want to get that beep. And what we're going to want to do is get our connectors here, test between each other to find continuity.
the wire with the red heat shrink should always go to your number one cylinder. So, our primary injectors are down at the bottom. We have all four of those plugged in now. Our secondary injectors are up here at the top under the cover. We have all those plugged in now. Next, we're gonna remove our fuel line from the fuel tank at our ethanol sensor. We've disconnected our fuel line from the fuel tank. Now, with the parts provided in your kit, you're gonna go ahead and build your fuel line to insert your ethanol sensor in between. Using some lube, let's go ahead and insert our fitting into our holes and clamp it down. Now that we got our ethanol sensor tapped into the main fuel line, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our ethanol sensor connector. This is our ambient temperature sensor. This is for cold starts. We're gonna go ahead and align this somewhere with the engine to detect temperature at all times. All right guys, last but not least, let's go ahead and ground off. Best place is on our ground on the battery. If you do it on bare metal, make sure you scratch the surface. Now that we have our kit grounded, I'm gonna go ahead and double check the routing of my fuel line because I wanna make sure I don't have any kinks when I put down the tank and that the tank fits in place with nothing being touched, rubbed, or could potentially cause an issue in the future. Sometimes the system has primary and secondary injectors. Therefore, fuel line has a T-split. My recommendation is to install your ethanol sensor before that split. Guarantees we're always getting fuel flow. All right, you've watched me install this kit. Let me give you a quick overview of what's been done. Gone ahead and put the control module up at the top here in the trunk area to keep it away from water 
Also, it's easy accessible. We've gone ahead and routed our wire harness, making sure there's no kinks, nothing rubbing, and nothing will chafe the wire and cause a break. Ground it off at our battery terminal post, as that being a good ground. And also, when placing our fuel tank on, we've made sure there's no kinks or anything rubbing or chafing on the fuel line. That will cause a break in the fuel line. You don't want that. Now, we're ready to start the bike, check our app, and connect. 